With fire season quickly approaching, analysts are predicting a grim outlook for our region. Despite a wet spring, it's not putting a dent in our drought conditions, especially east of the Cascades. NBC 5's Anthony Carter is live in our newsroom with more. Anthony. Shelly, a state official says despite our recent weather that we've been receiving in our area, it says to, that we should all expect an early start to fire season. As the first week of May wraps up, the preparation for wildfires in Oregon is just beginning. Much of Oregon is dealing with an ongoing drought, and the weather is expected to warm up the next few weeks. We're anticipating, you know, an early start to fire season, and we're anticipating it to be a long and potentially severe one. John Saltenberg is with the Northwest Interagency Coordination Center. Its office shared this image of the drought as of May 5th. Parts of Klamath and Lake Counties are in extreme or exceptional drought. Two counties that are at the center of concern, especially following last year's massive bootleg fire. We're continuing to see drought out there at least as bad as it was in 2021 and maybe even worse in some areas for Central Oregon and also creeping into Southwest Oregon as well. The center predicts by this August, significant wildland fire potential will be above normal for Southern Oregon. Fire season was declared on ODF protected lands in Jackson and Josephine counties back on May 12th of last year. Saltenberger believes it may be declared around the same time this year. And we think it's only going to take a few days of dry, windy weather to really boost the threat of getting some uh, fires. With the dangerous outlook for our area, Saltenberger hopes more people pay attention and prepare. We're hoping to continue to draw attention to the fact that things are drier than usual, water supplies will be limited, and uh, fire danger is elevated. Saltenberger also said he would like to see fire season declared early by designated agencies like ODF. Live in the newsroom, Anthony Carter, NBC5 News.